Well, good morning, YouTube. It's Sunday morning. Hey, I uh, picked up a couple things yard sailing yesterday, and I thought maybe I would uh, walk you through them. No big, no nothing big. Bunch of smalls. I'm processing everything right now to take down to my booth. But if you're into it, stick around. It's going to be a short one, and uh, I'd love to sh uh, show you what we got. All right. So the first thing we got is a actually a really nice pair of um, ice crampons. Uh, not really crampons, but they're they're well they are. They're, these are great for the winter time. You sp saw a video this last winter where I I paid forty dollars for a pair of these, which is nuts. Um, you know I'll never do that again. So I'm going to grab these for family friends uh, and have them available. Got this really cool mug with pheasants on there, and it's uh, gotta look this up. It's uh, one of 72 England, pretty nice little mug. Not sure if I'm gonna keep that one or send her down the road. A little uh, Ziggy um, doodad. This is a cool little rat sitting on an apple, and it's a uh, 1977. Uh, progressive art productions that's pretty neat I like that and then I, I'm this right here I broke doggone it see I cracked the lens but it still works beautiful beautiful barometer um, temperature probably send that to uh, Carolina Chris uh, no nope, doesn't go to 200 so we'll have to hang on to that Chris a little bag of uh, electrical doodads. What is there? Yeah, a little fuse pullers and things like that. A uh, nesting uh, from Moscow. Uh, a little NHL nesting dolls, I guess. That's kind of cool. Uh, some old. I collect these, uh, and I don't. I don't have two of these three. I think I have the black velvet, but I don't have this. This black and white, or this white label, I don't think. A couple of uh, USB chargers. A really long uh, shoehorn. Check out the shoehorn collection that I picked up. Uh, I'll show you a picture right now. Crazy, right? That's like a lifelong um, shoehorn collection. And then I got these really neat foldable uh, bottle openers. And uh, I kept one, but I'm going to show you a picture of someone's lifelong uh, bottle opener kit that I picked up for five bucks. I picked up the shoehorn collection for five dollars, and I picked up the bottle cap collection for five dollars. These are just the ones that I kept, but check out, check out these bad boys. Pretty neat, right? And I got this little wall hanger. Of this pistol it's metal kind of like a pot metal dealio i got a nice funnel i got a weller i picked up the packaging and the accessories uh apart from it and I taped it back together tested it this will go down to the booth as a kit a really nice coping saw a nice set of strippers and let me get some of this stuff out of my way I'm glad I did that because inside the funnel was this line level bubble. I think this is a uh, Stanley. And I think this is for stretching a line and doing like form boards and things like that. It's really cool. Uh, definitely going to keep that. I got uh, in the box this Italian. Look at this. It's Fonzie's. It's uh, Fonzie's comb. Bam. Isn't that cool? It took a little doing. It was frozen uh, to get it to work. But I got that for a couple bucks. I think it was $2. It's dated 1980. Uh, I got this little, I don't know, maybe Jade or something. Uh-oh. Is, is that? No? No? Oh, that he has buns. But anyway, um, picked that up. This here is a Chena, but I thought I would I thought I would actually keep this one because it's a folding 
uh, serrated. So this would be like awesome in my uh, pack for cutting bread. And maybe organically grown company, maybe they had this made. It's actually not a bad build uh, for a Sheena. But uh, yeah, picked that up. Picked up this little leather pouch. I think it's actually like a wallet for just carrying uh, credit cards and whatnot. I got a whole box of brand new Velcro, four feet by two inches. Got this little uh, child's uh, toy. This will go down to the booth. Got a couple cool patches. This one's really cool. And then this right here, this is a patch of the uh, venue that I would go to uh, concerts at as a kid in the Bay Area, the Cow Palace, man. I can't believe I found a patch for that. So that's super cool. That's one of my favorite finds. I found this case knife, but it has some issues. Um, you see that little area right there? I don't think that that's supposed to be like that. I think that's supposed to be full. I think something broke off there. So maybe, maybe that'll be a future thing to look at. Got a pair of really cool cast iron pruners now i've cleaned these up they didn't look like this um but i think i'm going to keep these these will probably go in the collection i got this watch uh for cody he collects watches I'll get this uh, over to him um and then in here is someone's full-on um Sharpening set, sharpening stones. We keep that all together. That can't be bad. Uh, some really nice long uh, C cords from my phone. Four of them. Whoop, whoop. I got some Pokemon cards. I've already processed these. These are already going to the booth. I got an Ertl um, wagon. That's going down to the booth. Um, a cloth cord. I always keep these in case I need to restore a clock or something like that. I, I like to use that cloth cord. I got a little propane nozzle. I got a monster power um, power strip. Yeah, I think that's it. I've already processed all of the uh, well, I, I did get a bike Got a bike. Oh, I got a couple things. So, I got this bike. It's a carbon fiber uh, hardtail mountain bike. It's carbon fiber in here. I got this for ten bucks. I broke it down uh, because I'll just I will just sell the frame. Uh, the parts really uh, the small parts I'll bag up, like the stem and things like that. But uh, and I'll probably get sixty bucks for this frame. And then I got this 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 guy here for five bucks. I'm like, are you sure? They're like, yeah, I'm sure. Well, I got a little project here because this area here is bent. So we'll take a look at that today and see if we can get that going. The yard sale scores from yesterday, and I hope everybody's having a great Memorial Day. I know I am. Uh, we don't have to work today. We don't have to work tomorrow. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm sure you'll see me around today. I hope everybody stays safe and has a great Sunday. Thanks for stopping by.